Thanks for joining me. Now this map here was in book form for over 500 years. It was um, made by Urbano Monti. And uh, I think that's where the word uh, urban originates from his name. It's been in um, book form for over 500 years. I don't know why. And it was re recently bought at auction, probably by a Freemason. Um, and made into a, it's been called a, a planet sphere. Um, now you can clearly see all the detailing on it. This is an amazing flat earth map. I'm not, you know, I'm not, no, I'm not Eric DeBay. So, but look, look at the pictures on it. Um, it clearly depicts the um, sun and the uh, black hole sun on there. Uh, excuse some of the blurry ones. I've only just come across this, so I just want to get it out there on the uh, on the old YouTube. Um, uh, the detailing is amazing. Anyway, it was uh, it was made over 500 years ago by Urbano Monti, an Italian guy. It was 60 pages long in book form. I can't understand why it's took all this time for it to be uh, made into a map. Uh, but anyway, um, if you Google it, the word has been uh, crossed out for some reason. Uh, it doesn't exist on um, Wikipedia either. Um, it's only just come to light the last few months. Like I say, it was in auction. It was bought by someone in America in uh, in auction for a, a, a tidy sum. Uh, his name was David Rumsey. I think he's got his own website. Well, he, he's calling it the planisphere, yeah? Um, um, as far as I can see, Urbano Monty never named it the planisphere. That's just the name that they're giving it to make it sound like it's supposed to be a sphere. And it isn't supposed to be spherical at all. There he is, there's the guy. If you if you can flick it up and down on the picture on the left, it shows him at an older age and an earlier age, because I think it took him 30 years to make this map. Anyway, it was always intended to be a flat earth map, and it, it appears somebody's trying to rewrite history with this one, um, because he actually says, if you look up um, Urbano Monti, he, he designed it so it could be pinned on a wall and spun round for you to view it. It was never supposed to be uh, in, in a spherical form, so somebody's trying to rewrite history yet again. Some sort of Masonic plot, or an elitist plot. Um, but anyway, so excuse some of the blurry pictures, because I'm just showing you the illustrations from... It's been in book form for four, four or five hundred years, so I don't know why. Yeah, so it was bought by a guy in America recently. Uh, and it, like I say, Urban Urbano never intended it as such to be called the planisphere. That's just something that's been made up. Uh, the first globe was created in 1492 by a guy called Martin Beheim in Germany. And this is uh, way after that. And he, uh, like I say, Urbano never intended it to be um, a planisphere. So if anyone's got anything they'd like to add on this, it's like I say, uh, you know, I'm just putting it out there for everyone to... You know, call me out if they want to. There's the guy who uh, invented the first globe. Probably a Freemason. Martin Beheim. I think he was German. Um, Masonic. Uh, I'm looking for a few Masonic symbols, but I can't find any. Anyway, I'm just putting it out there for everyone to view. And if anyone's got any um, any ideas for me on this, I'd love to hear from you if you'd like to leave me something in the comments. But I'm just there it is in uh, map form. It's supposed to be on a, on a pivot, so you can spin it round on a wall. So it is a flat earth map. And what is all that land around the outer edges, everybody? It appears there isn't no ice wall at all. From what I, I said, I, I thought this a long time ago, that this ice wall is some sort of um, lie. Because um, it clearly shows land around the outer edge of this map. It's a very detailed map. And um, there it is, look, all the outer edge is land, it isn't ice. Uh, it might may have iced over over the you know it's four hundred years old, but like I say, I'm just putting it out there for all the flat earthers, all the flat earth truthers to to look at because um, I think we might have to uh, rethink our flat earth map as it stands because as I've always suspected and I know some other people have, I, I'm pretty sure that land pretty much goes on forever. Um, you know. Um, we're, we're trapped under this dome. That's if it is a dome. Anyway, thanks for listening, everyone, and I uh, hope you 